Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. Welcome back to another video. So it's been a little while since you've last seen me. I've just been super busy with the start of the school year and also football season, but I'm excited to finally give you an update on some of the classroom tanks and how the whole fish room is doing. Before we get into that though, if you could, please hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate your support and let's dive right in. All right guys, so here are the classroom aquariums. This fish room has been four years in development and has gone through a ton of changes over these past four years, but I finally feel like I have it to a place that I'm pretty proud of and it's pretty stable now. All right, so starting with the biggest tank in the classroom, is the 110 gallon custom aquariums tank. So this tank here has been set up for about five to six months now. And it currently has three different types of fish in it. It has Joker the Green Terror here. Joker has developed a massive nuchal hump here. He's probably the most active in this tank. He's always swimming around and he's definitely the one that likes the food the most. But the colors on this guy just absolutely pop. So moving on to the next fish is the OG of the Cichlid Bros, Jack the Jack Dempsey here. So he's been acting a little strange over the last couple of months. I think he's just pretty timid with all the students in the classroom. So rarely comes out, but every time when I come in in the morning or the lights are off. He's always a lot more colored up than this and not hiding in the back of the tank like this. Hi, Joker. Hi. All right, and the third fish that's in here is another American cichlid, it is the convict cichlid, which has made this little cave its home here. We'll get him to come out in a bit, especially when I feed. But overall, these three fish have been together for about two or three years now. Um, they get along very well, very limited aggression, even though they are very aggressive fish. So I do have some nice rocks in here that I got at a local fish store. Obviously this huge driftwood piece, it is mounted on a slab underneath the sand. I have had a little bit of problems with hair algae on it. You can see a little bit of a remnant there. So I've really cut down on my light schedule. So I have a really low blue light that goes on for most of the day. And I only keep my light on this setting for maybe about three hours of the school day. And that has really helped with the algae growth. I'm really liking the way this tank is looking. The custom aquariums glass is crystal clear and definitely one of the highest qualities you can get. I do have a FX6 canister filter running on this. It's worked great. And the light is an Aqua Sky from Fluval, which is controlled Bluetooth through the app. So it's pretty cool. And then I do have the Xtreme pump from CJ with the Wi Fi controlled unit here. It's a really cool pump. All right, now moving on to the 75 gallon tank. This was the biggest tank in the classroom before the 110 gallon. This is where the Green Terror, Jack Dempsey and Convict were initially in. So still the same setup, just no plants right now. I actually have some plants uh, that I, my brother Troy has from Elite Cichlids that will make this tank look a lot better. It's a little barren right now with just the driftwood and black gravel, but overall the fish are doing pretty well. I have four silver dollars in here that are growing at a pretty good rate. I have the Firemouth Cichlid here. This guy is a stunner. However, it is pretty aggressive. Um, you can see the Severum Typically it hangs up towards the top until there's food in the tank. Um, the Firemouth does flare its gills quite a bit, 
but I will say the Severum has started to hold its own a lot better than it did in the past. It will actually dish back some of the aggression uh, whenever the fire mouth goes up there and has no problem getting food. So overall, this tank is doing pretty well and I'm excited about the future of these two cichlids because I think they're two of the coolest cichlids out there. All right, moving on now to the 55 gallon. You can see it's a bare bottom tank, which is one inhabitant, which is Felix the flower horn here. I think she's pretty upset with me right now because I've not fed her in a day and a half, but she'll be getting food soon. So you can see that she doesn't look exactly like many other flower horns that you've seen. I do believe she's a short bodied flower horn and it is a female. So the nuchal hump is not going to get as big as some of the other ones you might've seen in the past. But overall she is probably has the biggest personality of any of the fish I have. So she is a crowd favorite with my students, especially students that sit at the lab table every day. I can see them constantly look into the tank and I have to constantly remind them to re-engage, but she'll also show some more personality whenever I feed as she thinks I am right now. All right, now moving on to the 60 gallon planted tank or was planted tank, should I say. So you guys have not seen this in the classroom yet. This used to be in my apartment in the city, but I did move a couple months ago and there was a little bit of an overlap with the move in date. So I had to move it to the classroom for the time being and I think I'm just gonna keep it here. It's easier to have them all in one place. But the last time you saw it, I did have full carpet going on. As you can see, is no longer. And then the Rotala Indica is kind of strung out there. I haven't really done much to this tank over the past two to three months, uh, but mainly because I wanted to kind of rehaul it and change out the carpeting plant and just kind of do a reset on the design. So stay tuned for a future video of me rehabbing this tank. The fish are still doing good though. You got the neons and the Odessa barbs. Love the Odessa barbs. And then the Harley Kin Rasboras all the way back from Troy's original 75 gallon, long time ago. All right, so those are the four main classroom aquariums. They are all different sizes. We got the 110, 75, 55, and 60, which I kind of like, just adds some uniqueness. But overall doing pretty good, but Always room for some improvements, specifically right here. Some of you might be wondering whatever happened to my water box 20 cube saltwater tank. Well, here it is. Moved this over from my apartment at the same time as the 60 gallon planted tank. And to be honest, I haven't really done much with it for the past three months. I've just been so busy that the tank is not in great condition. So I'm going to keep the lights off because I'm going to do a full rehab video on this very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to redo the scape, going to get some more coral and obviously clean up some of the mess that has started from three months of very low maintenance. The fish are doing fine. Been keeping up with the water changes still, but need to do a rehaul of this one. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. Definitely stay tuned for future videos, showing some exciting new updates to this classroom fish room. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you next week.